Greetings Hawklings and fellow fishing enthusiasts we are back with Fishing Planet and we're back at the North Carolina map Naharan River and I know a lot of people like to watch videos in regards to catching largemouth and smallmouth bass here and I've even put out a few of those as well as catching a, a humongous trophy flathead catfish but there are other species that tend to be ignored and I like to try to spotlight these species because you know they're interesting and one of the most interesting of these happens to be the long nose gar and long nose gar are a type of fish that I'm quite familiar with I have caught numbers of them when I used to be in college and these guys are are quite interesting they're, they're in the same family as the alligator gar uh, same family as the Florida gar. They're all an ancient species of fish that go back to the Cretaceous period, in other words, the dinosaurs, 100 million years ago. Very prehistoric fish. They're armored. They have, uh, I think it's garoid scales. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but these scales are so tough that the Indians used to use them to make arrowheads. But. I want to see if I can get one of these guys so you can see one up close. Now, I'm going to try fishing where I've been having a lot of luck, which has been right here. I got my leader at 25 in. Well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> 25 inches because they are an ambush predator and they like it shallow. These guys have a number of bait preferences. They do like large minnows. They like large cut bait. They will go for any of the Halloween stuff that was available from the previous thing that we were doing. Um, they're not really that finicky. Uh, often fishermen call them bait stealers because they will steal your bait in real life and they will do it hey we got some action here guys and they will do it here as well so don't be I won't be surprised if if he gets away with my bait alright we're gonna bring this guy in now they're not humongous they're not as big as the gar the gar they're not as big as the alligator gar by any means and they're not as big as the Florida gar but they're decent sized and if you get a trophy one I mean they can they can push the heck out of 30 40 pounds the big guys can here you go what do you think of that dude now he's about 4.366 pounds eh, fairly healthy fish one of the, I'm gonna go ahead and get a real quick shot of him there we go and the reason I wanted to get a shot of him is because, well, let me see, I almost hit the wrong button there. One of the reasons I want to get a shot of him is because uh, they've done some improvements on fishing for the for different species. You can now see them a little better. I notice now I can see the whole fish. I really like that. I wish there was a way we could get the a front view though. I don't know, maybe someday. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep him. And we're going to try to see if we can catch another one. Actually, what I might do... Keep my bait what it is, but I'm going to switch and get a little bit larger hook. I would really like to get a trophy. Right, we're going to use a 3 odd. Fairly common size hook. It's, uh larger than most but I'm hoping now I could still catch a regular size gar with this but I'm hoping something a little bigger might get interested really like to see a trophy but you know all we can do is wait and see what happens I'm gonna try over here because I was having some luck catching these guys over here oh man come on I hate when it does that alright there we go 
I used to have a lot of luck catching things right here. Don't know if it's still the same, but during the Halloween event, man, they were right there. That's where they were. But that was the green ogre gar. <laughs> now the flatheads are still there. If I was to switch bait and fish a lot deeper, I guarantee you that spark an interest of a flathead. <laughs> Somebody got them a trophy pumpkin seed. I've only caught a couple of those. Not that easy to catch. I wish they were worth more. They're not like it's not like they're simple. Whoa, 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 something. I think something was going after it. Yep, something was. Huh. Whoa, what the heck? I was not expecting that. I don't think I have what I was after, but I've got something. Ah, <laughs> you bugger. You bugger. I wasn't fishing for you. <laughs> you little turd. I guess I better stick with over here. I guess the bass are just too... They're like, Arch Meadows! Cool! I want some of that. <laughs> yeah, I really want to get that trophy one. But I'm have I have a feeling that it's just going to elude me. Just going to elude me. Tell you what, guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. I always pay attention too as I reel in cuz sometimes just like that bass like right now I'm getting a bite and I couldn't tell you what it is but we got it <laughs> you son of a gun you son of a gun that was a, see what I mean did you see that bait was eaten or lost and I've only seen that happen with these long nose gar they are tricky little guys I'll tell you that you little sneaky devil, you. Oh, well, that was a lousy cast. No, when you're reeling in, sometimes I've noticed even with float fishing, if you just kind of reel it in a little bit, sometimes you'll get their interest. Got that at 105 feet, and I've got a bite. I've got a bite, guys. Hopefully, he won't take my bait. That was rude. Well, they're the bait stealers, guys. <laughs> I was actually kind of hoping that one of them would do that just so that you could see what I'm talking about okay this guy is a little bit bigger oh could I have gotten my trophy could I have gotten my trophy I think I might guys I think I've got my trophy come on alright this is gonna be great this is great yeah I've got a, I've got something either I've got a trophy or I've got a flathead, and I've never caught a flathead over here. But this guy is good sized, whatever he is. Cause this is no, this is not a wimp rod, man. This is what I use to pull in that trophy flathead catfish. Oh wow, this thing's big. <laughs> I love this, man. I just love this stuff. I just love it. How can anyone not like? to fish. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the tension just a tad. 
because this fish is getting the better of us. Not too much. Okay, we're gaining ground on him now. Never, never, never. You getting the idea here, guys? Never point the rod at the fish. Because if he f swims straight out, he will snap your line big as you please. Come on, man. I want to see what you are. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're gaining ground now. We are gaining ground. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Trophy Longnose Gar. 11.581 pounds, 43 inches. That's a big fish. Big old fish. 160 XP, guys. 160 XP. I'm sure that boy is going to think that was cool. Anyway, I am going to get a snap of him. Because he'd be a pretty fish. And we're keeping him. We are keeping that dude. I'm going to... Yay. Got one. <laughs> hey, nice, nice car. Thanks. Yeah, I always talk to these guys. If I can help them, I try to do what I can. But I knew I had something decent sized. Yeah, they are right there, guys. The three out hook made all the difference. It was harder to catch one, but that's what you need is a hook about that size to get them now I could sit here in for hours and never get another one so that was a lot of fun that was a lot of fun and he was definitely worth it I mean I got some XP off of that dude I hopefully got me some money too so we shall see I guess okay, let me increase the tension on that I want to reel it in just a tad see if I can't nah I think we're pretty much good to go on this anyway that was definitely worth it and that little bass threw his little two cents worth in I mean you know he was fun to catch. I still like catching bass. Don't get me wrong, but that gar, he was he was fun. He was fun. Anyway, guys, I think that is it for this particular episode, and I will be back hopefully to be able to show you how my progress is for the um, that corn event. But anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.